The faint noises below suddenly became much louder, as if she was standing among them. Where is he? One of the figures asked. They were hard to make out in the dim light, but this one looked darker than the rest, possibly a Dunma. He'll be here, another said. He, or maybe she, was obviously a Kajit, everything about the way he moved was feline. He will, a third voice said. An egg watched as the man, she had been following for the last few days approached the others. Like them, he was too far away to see, but she knew him by the hump of his back, and her memory filled in the details of his brutish face and long, unkempt hair. Do you have it? the Kajit asked. Just brought it in, under the river. Seems like a lot of trouble, the Kajit said. I've always wondered why you don't use an Argonian for that. I don't trust them. Besides, they have Ripper eels trained to hunt Argonians trying to cross the outer canal. They're not so good at spotting me, especially if I rub myself with eel slime first. Disgusting. You can keep your end of the job. Just as long as I get paid for it. He pulled off his shirt and removed his hump. Have a look. Have a taste, if you want. Oh, Daedra and Divines, a nag swore, from the beam they crouched on. He's not a workrock. He's a skooma smuggler. You're finally going to kill me, Glim said. Not so much kill you as get you killed. It works out the same. And now Aneg was quite sure that what she felt was fear. Right, terrible, animal fear. By the way, the Kajit below said, lowering his voice. Who are those two in the rafters? The man looked up. Exhath. If I know, he said. None of mine. I hope not. I sent Patch and Flitches up to kill them. Oh, Kaok, an egg hissed. Come on, Glim. As she stood, something whisked through the air near her, and a shriek tore out of her throat. I knew it, Glim snapped. Just, come on, we have to get to the roof, 